A lot of these exercises, some of them are common core exercises. The real key is putting them all together, and it's not so much even the exercise you do, but how you do it, the technique you use to really get the most out of it. So when you're doing these things, the first thing you're going to do here is the same thing. With the ankles relaxed, I want you to tip your pelvis. Yeah, so you already did. Okay, good. And you're lined up really tall and straight here. Okay? You're going to reach your hands up. Reach up here to where you get a good stretch. And actually, I don't want your shoulders to turn. Okay? okay. So I want your spine to stay stable. I want you to reach across and reach up. So you start to feel a little bit of a stretch. You may feel it here. You may feel it there. You may feel it in the hip. It depends on where you're tight. Okay? Right. What I want you to do is now squeeze your right butt, get that glute on, and I just want you to pull diagonally down across with just your hands and arms so your shoulders aren't moving, your spine isn't moving, but you're going to feel your core working to do that, okay? Go back up, get a good high reach, reach up there, get a good stretch. Pull it down across, hands are moving, but the core and everything else is just kind of holding itself upright, right? Working on stability and balance, okay? We're going to do 10 of those. As you pull down, what's working? What muscles are you working? Okay, you feel the bands of your core. Okay. As you reach up, do you feel any tightness outside your shoulders or in your lat a little bit? Okay. So each time it's really important you reach up and get a good stretch. No? So right now you're leaning, get everything up right, right? So I'm going to reposition you here. I'm sorry, stay right where you're at. But I'm going to push your hip over your knee and then push your shoulders over your hips. So now you're actually aligned and upright. I want you to hold that posture so that you're not leaning, okay? That's kind of hard enough to do so. <laughs> yeah, so you're having to work muscles to just do that, okay? Now we're going to strengthen in that position. Good. So you're going to go take your hands up diagonally up there, and now take your hands down towards my hand here, and diagonal as you pull down, and now you can shoot your more core muscles working. Okay. Let's do about three or four more reps. Right lap? Uh, not as much. My glute just trying to stay stable. Yes. My glute and quad. my quad are just going crazy right now, just trying to hold me. Yeah. But that's yeah. good because you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. And yeah. they're also telling you, you're feeling the tightness. If you don't keep your glute on, your hip flexor shortens up and it'll take you back in this position. Right. That's not good for your performance. It's really not good for the hip long term because it's too tight. So it's like getting ground down in there. It should be more relaxed, right? You should be able to move without the tension. Yeah, I could feel like as I got more fatigued, like the last couple, couple three, that it was uh, more glute and quad going crazy, even more than I could feel it in my right. my uh, abs anymore because right. I was just kind of like, you know, and these were just. Yeah. So think about your playing around the golf, and a lot of guys will fatigue somewhere between the 7th, 8th, ninth hole and 18th, mm -hmm. your swing will go away. Sometimes you're like, what just happened, right? right? Well, oftentimes it's postural muscles, what we call stabilizer muscles, that are around your hips and butt and other places in your spine that don't have the endurance they need. So your big muscles, your chest, your arms, your legs, maybe have all the endurance to hit long balls, but all of a sudden, if you can't hold a dress posture and have the endurance start to play to those, to do different yeah. yeah, so it changes your spine angle, everything gets different, your performance goes down, your swing goes away, right? Yeah. So even though these are smaller muscles and they're not the big guys, they're the ones you probably need to, to really focus more on, and that's what a lot of this program is doing right now, is let's get some of the smaller postural stabilizer muscles trained, and it's going to carry over into your golf swing and everything else you